<laughs> oh, hello, hello, hello. I think we're on. Let's find out. Hang on. I think we're on. It says, please wait. Oh, there we go. All right. Now it says we're online. Welcome. Hi, I'm back. It's Bill with another edition of, there we go, with iPhone Friday. I can see myself over there on the video now so welcome back it's been a long time since uh we've done an iphone friday but here it is friday the first of the month and i thought well if ever you're going to get started with an iphone friday series again first of the month is a good time to do it so if you're watching this live as it happens thank you very much i appreciate you uh, tuning in and if you're watching this on the replay well thanks you for that thank you for that as well um later on we're going to be posting this uh on youtube and on the website so plenty of ways to catch it in fact, we're getting serious about starting off uh, a whole new series of iPhone Friday videos and maybe even something for Windows, too, because I know a lot of that. So, hi, I'm Bill Skladowski, and uh, I am a teacher and instructor, and uh, here where I live in Sarasota, Florida, I teach adult education classes with the Sarasota County Schools ACE program, which is uh, adult and community education or adult and community enrichment, something like that. And, uh, of course, like all other schools, well, we're closed. So I thought I would bring education online. I've been doing the iPhone Fridays before online, but this is a good kind of way to catch up and roll up and get, uh, you know, a two-for-one deal going here. Uh, so we will be doing iPhone Fridays from now until, even once school gets started. But uh, anyway, wanted to say hi and uh, let you know that uh, we will be here for you. So if you have questions or comments, please feel free to enter them here below. Uh, I read and respond to all the comments uh, as we go. So today, the question is this. I have information that I want to keep top secret on my iPhone. Is there a better way to do it than just stashing it somewhere in a note or whatever that, you know, I can really be sure that it is secure? And the answer is yes. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today with the new, with, not new, but with the iPhone Notes app and the ability to lock individual notes. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So grab your iPhone and follow along. And by the way, if you uh, can't follow along on your phone, uh, we will have the notes from today's video available to you for a free download. And I'll tell you more about that later on. So uh, thanks for that. Hang in there. All right, let's dig right in, shall we? So uh, in fact, hang on, let me switch over to my other view here so we can uh, see what's going on here. Let's turn this off and move over to here so you can see my phone. How cool is that? So, uh, if you have an iPhone, and uh, this is specifically for iPhones, uh, I know sometimes I talk about how the tips and tricks that I give will carry over to um, Android devices. This one, not so much. So, if you have an iPhone, uh, found, uh, dig it out and find the Notes app on your iPhone, which... If you can and see it, it's on the bottom row over there. <laughs> I can't, I can't, if I put my finger on my phone here, it doesn't show up on the view over there. So you'll just have to take my word for it. So find the notes app on your phone. What? You can't, you can't find the notes app on your phone? Well, remember, all you have to do is put your finger on the phone somewhere and pull down and then you can search for it just by typing N-O-T-E and there it is. It will show you. Uh, notes and all you have to do is tap on it but if you have it on a screen somewhere either on your home screen or one of the inside screens you can just tap on it fair enough there we go let's dig into notes so with notes there are a couple of ways that they can be stored and this isn't really super important for what we're talking about now but notes can be uh, notes can live in a few places they can be stored on your phone only or if you turn them on and allow it to, they also go out to the cloud, you know, to that iCloud thing. So we'll talk more about iCloud and, and online storage in future videos. But for today, I wanted to let you know that sometimes they're on your phone only. But if you want, and I would suggest this, is to allow them to also be stored in iCloud. And that's in settings, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to that sometime in the future. But anyway, the reason for that is so that you can see them on other devices. So if you have an iPhone and an iPad and a computer, you can see all your notes on any device at any time. Yes, even if you have a Windows computer and not a Mac. Again, <laughs> more on that coming somewhere. So anyway, uh, today I just wanted to talk about the ability to really get an, uh, keep a note super secure. So once you open up your notes, like you see over there on the uh, on the screen, okay, you'll want to create a new note. And that's at the very bottom 
down at the bottom uh, right corner, there's that little square with the line through it. Actually, that's Apple's idea of a paper and pencil, I suppose. So when you tap on that, it will give you the ability to create a new note, and that's what we're looking at here. So the first line of any note is the headline or the title for the note. And if you type it on your phone, you're going to see that it's automatically going to make that kind of bigger and bolder. So if I say top secret note, right, uh, it's going to make it nice, big and bold. And then when I hit the return button on the keypad, it's going to go down to the second line. And then when I start typing here, all right, this is my secret note. Okay it's going to, um, you know, make it smaller and a little more, you know, like regular type. So that's just a helpful way of it automatically making your note look like a note with a title or a headline or whatever, okay? So you can create anything you want. You can add all kinds of things into your note. Heck, you could even uh, take pictures or make a checklist or do any kinds of stuff, all right? And all of that is with the plus sign. See that plus sign down there in the corner? If I tap on that, it brings up a little additional toolbar where I can make a checklist just by hitting the little check button there and it creates a checklist all right I can so I can say you know uh, uh, item number two uh, number two oops, two <laughs> item three etc so I if I wanted to make a, a grocery list or a checklist or something like that that would be a great way to do it okay the other cool thing, of course, is the camera icon down there. I can tap on the camera and it will let me do things like take a, add a photo, uh, you know, uh, scan a document. By the way, scanning documents is one of the really coolest things that notes can do. I think we'll talk about that later on. But if I were to, oh, I don't know, let's take a picture of my super messy desk here. If I take, a, if I open up the photo, it takes the picture. There's my other pair of glasses, and I take a picture of it. All right. It's, and it offers to use photo. See where it says use photo. I can either retake it or use the photo. Tap on use photo. It automatically inserts that photo into the note. Very cool, right? Again, also helpful when you're trying to remember stuff. But let's get going with the whole saving the note thing. So here's the trick. Here's the technique for saving a note and making it super secret. Now, if all you wanted to do was save it, there's nothing else to do. You're done. You can just tap on where it says notes up in the upper left corner and you go back to your to your list of notes and there it is where it says top top secret note. Now, it's not so secret because anybody can open it, anybody who has my phone anyway and can get into the phone. But here's the lock part of it, the super secret part of it. See up in the upper right corner there is that square with the up pointing arrow that's actually called the share button uh they use it apple uses it across all kinds of apps for all kinds of different functions but in this case with the with the note the share also lets you lock the note so tap on that again just one little click one tap it's going to open up the share sheet here, which lets you to, if you wanted to send it as a text message to a friend, you know, or you wanted to save it or send it as a message there. Keep scrolling down, though. Just put your finger on it and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you'll see where it says lock note. See that lock note right over there with the little lock on it? Clever, right? So tap on lock note, and then it's going to say use your touch ID, or you can create a password for it. Now, Make your life easy. Just use Touch ID. Now, I have an iPhone 8 Plus, which still has the big touch button on it, right? So if you have Face ID with an iPhone 10 or 11, it will let you use your face, obviously, because that's what unlocks and unlocks your phone, right? So all I'm going to do is say Touch ID for notes, use your fingerprint, or enter your passcode. So all I'm doing is putting my finger literally right on my, you know, fingerprint reader. Oh, let's do the right one. Put it on there, and it locks the note. See that? Did you see the little lock there? Isn't that clever? So now when I go back to notes, okay, see it has the little lock icon right next to it there. See where it's the, the top one that says top secret note with a lock? Now it's unlocked now because I'm, I'm just using it, right? So I can do that. But when I'm done with it, if I want to lock it, look up at the top there, again in the upper right, there's that little like lock icon that shows that it's open, right? But if I tap on that, oh, the note is now locked, all right? So even if I have the phone and even if I've opened the phone or, you know, even if, I don't know, 
you know, the phone falls into the wrong hands and somebody manages to open it or whatever. If they open up the notes, okay, that note is locked. By the way, in the regular notes view, it looks like that. It says top secret note and then it says locked next to it and it has the little lock icon, okay? So again, if I tap on it, all right, it's not going to show me the note until I click on where it says view note. So tap on view note. And now again, it's going to say, okay, cool. Either face ID, if it's, you know, using the face, or for me with my finger, tap on it with my finger and it unlocks it and shows me the note. And now I can edit it and change it and delete it and do whatever I want to it. But anyway, the moral of the story is once it's locked, it locks the note and it get, adds another level of security to your notes. Now, for most phones, I get it. Most phones are either face ID or they have a fingerprint ID or something like that. But it is possible, you know, that something could happen to your phone where it was left unlocked or somebody picked it up and it was in an unlocked or open state and they could, you know, start looking through your stuff. So the locked note thing adds another layer of security to it. Okay, don't want to waste too much time today. I just wanted to get you going with a way to add extra security to your notes by locking them with either Face ID or your fingerprint ID on uh, older iPhones, you know, 6, 7, 8, that kind of a thing. Now, make sure your phone's up to speed with the latest updates and has, you know, the latest and greatest version of the iOS software on it because some of the older ones didn't support that, but as you upgrade, they'll bring that along to you. All right, I hope that was useful today. If you have questions or comments, uh, feel free to uh, add them below, and I uh, always get to them there. So if you would like... The uh, handout, uh, handout, the notes that go with all this that show you how to lock a note. Just leave me a comment below in the uh, 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 in the uh, comments here on Facebook, or if you're watching this on YouTube or on the blog at BillSklodowski.com, um, just leave me a quick note and I'll shoot that over to you, no problem. So I'll uh, take me a day or so to put that together. I'll have them by tomorrow, so we'll get going on. If you have any other questions or if you have other suggestions on what you'd like to hear about. Well, you know what to do. Same thing with comments below and uh, let me know what, you know, if you've got some frustration with your phone that it's just not doing what you need or you have a, you know, an app or a feature that you're trying to make work, let me know and we'll figure it out. All right, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Again, uh, if you're watching this on the replay, I appreciate that as well. So stay tuned. Next Friday, another iPhone Friday video. And I think we're going to do something on Wednesday with Windows. You know, Windows, Wednesday, phone, Friday. Clever, right? Okay. So that's going to do it. Have yourself a great weekend. Stay safe out there. Keep washing your hands. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.